right, so right here, I already went all the way around the head with a two and a half. So a two guard with the lever all the way open, already cut with the grain. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the ball taper on the back using my Andes GTX T outliners. Go ahead and start my first guideline. Um, I, I thought I was gonna have enough time to record while I was cutting in the shop. Um, so I didn't record the first part of it, but you know, it, all it is is me cutting with the grain. Um, I got more videos of me cutting with the grain if you are not familiar with doing or uh, cutting waves. Um, so right off the back, I went to using my wall magic cordless clippers lever all the way open, and now I'm working my way down to knock that line out. Now I have the number one guard on, lever all the way open, creating my next guideline, going up about half an inch, and then I start working my way to the lever closed. So all the way open, put it in the middle, and then close it. Now, I have the number two guard on, lever all the way open, and now we're just going to start debulking, and then once I create that guideline, I'm going to start closing the lever um, little by little from the middle to close. Now this is a number three guard. This is the highest guard I'm going to use because it's a two and a half with the green. Um, again, just debulking. And then I come to the one and a half guard, not the one guard, the one and a half guard. Um, lever all the way open and knock that two guideline out. All right, now I went to the, right here is a one and a half guard still, and we're just removing some bolt. Right here I have the one guard on. Lever all the way open, just getting rid of some dark spots. And then this is where you start bringing the fade together, right here using the 1 16th or the half guard or the zero guard, depending on what system you are using. Um, this is what brings the blend together. And this dude has some nice waves, man. Uh, for straight hair, he has some nice deep waves. Still using the half guard. Just getting rid of some dark spots, you know, using the corners of your blade. And now I'm using no guard, never all the way open, and just uh, bringing that blend together. Man, that, to me, that taper came out pretty blurry. All right, so now we're going to start the taper on the side using the Anna DTX T outliners for the first guideline. And then now we go into the Wall Magic Cordis Clippers, lever all the way open, and then work your way down to remove that line. Same thing with the one guard, lever all the way open. Put it in the middle and then close it. Two guard, lever open. Now we're going to start debulking. Put it in the middle and then close it. Right here is the number three guard, just like we use on the back. It's the highest guard we're going to use. And now I go back to the one and a half guard and notice how that, that one um, guideline just comes right out. Or the two guidelines, sorry. Now we take the one sixteenth guard and start with the lever open and um, take that line out. The shadow from the one. So basically y'all, whenever you cut with the grain, you want to make sure you are cutting whichever way the hair grows. Um, so I know I didn't show me doing the two and a half all the way around, but you just want to make sure you pay attention to the pattern and cut with the grain because if you cut against the grain, you might patch them. So make sure you pay attention to the, the way the hair grows and cut with where, cut which way the hair grows, sorry. So basically what I do to one side, you do to the other, make sure that everything is even on both sides. And I'm just attacking it the same way I did to the other side. I always start with the lever open just because you don't want to create yourself another guideline that you can't get out. So it's just trial and error. If it's not cutting with the lever open, then you can work your way down and close that lever uh, little by little. 
But once you put a line on this cut, y'all, I tell you that line brings it together. It, it just it just puts a whole nother detail to the cut whenever you hit that line. And then of course putting the razor on there as well. This haircut is a very detailed haircut. Um, I got some real close up shots as well. I know y'all been asking for that. And then at the end, I have a 360 view of the full haircut. So I know y'all like that as well. Right here, I have the one and a half guard on and I'm just kind of around the edges, just going with the grain to, uh, to remove some, some bulk. So whenever you put the line up, it, you know, it's pretty crispy and, and detailed. Right here, I'm just doing some last minute touch-ups. Some detail work using the corner of my blade, getting those dark spots. All right, so notice once I start putting this lineup on there, y'all, it just brings the haircut to a whole nother level. Um, I'm using my Andes GTX T outliners. Yes, they are modified. Um, I have the plastic piece cut off. Um, it's just uh, good for looks. Um, it's easier to get around the ears and the mustache area. But um, as I say in all my videos, y'all, if you do not want to lose the Andes factory warranty, then do not cut your clippers or your clippers or trimmers. Because once you modify them like this, you lose that factory warranty. We're going to start lining up the C cup area into the beard, just using the left side, left corner of the blade. And I know y'all can't see it, but there is a little bit of hair right there. Um, we're just trying to grow it out. Um, his, his beard has been growing. Um, so we're just keeping it as natural as possible. And then once I put the, the razor on it, it'll pop. Notice that little, that little light spot right there, and right there at the corner of his ear. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and line it with it. We're not gonna take the hairline too far back, but we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, make sure it lines up with the hairline. And you could tell, like, there's no hair stubble, there's no pushback, it's just that, that's where the long hair was uh, hanging over. We're not going to spend too much time using the trimmer um, as well because we're going to be using the, the razor. That's what's going to get it real nice and crispy. Now we're going to start lining them up. I did not know that the camera was kind of tilted down, but I go ahead and fix it right here. Don't worry. I basically just started from the middle, worked my way to the left side. Now I'm going to the right side. And this client actually um, wolfs out, you know, pretty often. Um, he lets his hair grow out, you know, to probably about a five, and then we cut it down. So that's why his waves looks like this. And he does a lot of brushing, do rag, you know, he does his homework and, and stuff uh, when it comes to his waves. So that's why his hair looks like that. All right, so now we're gonna apply some 245 shave gel. And my client right here, he actually does music. He actually raps, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to his SoundCloud, along with his dad. Um, his dad is a dope, dope artist uh, from New York. 
So um, I'm going to leave all their information to their music. Make sure you go check them out. Show them some love. I promise you, you would not be disappointed. So make sure you go show them some love and look at their uh, their music. And I'll leave their Instagram and all that information in the description below. But right here, I'm just doing his eyebrows and doing some razor work on the mustache area and on the lineup and beard. Um, just, you know, detailing it, bringing the haircut, everything to life with the razor. That taper, though. Just want to make sure you're stretching the skin with the opposite hand. Notice how that razor just gave, it just popped. Everything just popped with that razor. That's why you don't need to spend so much time with trimmers. Right here I'm using my Andes Profile Shaver to make sure it's nice and shaved and clean underneath the beard. And then I lean my client back up and now I'm just freehanding the beard, getting rid of those stray hairs. Making sure it's nice and neat. Y'all are about to see in a, in a couple seconds how crispy this haircut came out. The finished product. <clears throat> Alright, there it is, man. Two and a half with the grain. Skin taper. Look at them waves. And this is straight hair, y'all. He's definitely doing some homework with his waves. Definitely. You put in that work and, and you know dedicate your, your time to your hair. It's gonna look like this. I hope y'all enjoyed this haircut tutorial. I know I did. I love doing these type of haircuts. Make sure you show some love. Subscribe, share, and comment. Team Gifted, stay gifted.